It's also a plaid shirt day on BYU Sports Nation. Yes, it is. And you know who got the memo? Who? Jacob Jones of Fictionist. Yeah. Keyboardist in the band uh, now joins us on set. Jacob, welcome. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, I did get the memo. You look good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've, well, I don't know who's number one in this, but we've got a good <laughs> fair going on here. It's close. <laughs> Only one of us is a rock star, Jeremy, right? That's exactly right. Okay, That's so exactly by right. default, <laughs> Jacob probably wins that conversation. Okay, so music video, 6 p.m. at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Yeah. What, what kind of an atmosphere are you hoping for, do you want, as, uh, as we begin this thing? So we're hoping for super exciting atmosphere, just get tons of people out, fill the stadium, you know, we want 5,000 people in the stadium for this video, and uh, we're fortunate enough to, to be able to play a warm-up set before the video shoot, and so obviously, you know, we're looking for people to get into it, to really, really be excited about this this shoot tonight, so we're and you super have a new, excited. And you have a new album coming out, yeah, right? Yeah. Are you going to sample that a little bit oh, tonight? Yeah, yeah. Tell Major- us about the new album. So the new album has been in the making for a long time. It's been, it's, it's been a couple of years, wow. and... and uh, We've we've been doing some recording and then re-recording, recording, re-recording, and we ultimately uh, ended up recording it just down south of Provo in a house and just really homegrown and and we're really excited about it. And so the majority of the stuff that we're playing tonight is going to be off the new album. How does that work with? I I'm always interested to know like yeah we picked this house you know like how do you pick that house? Yeah, what do you say yeah, to the neighbors yeah, yeah. as you go through that process? <laughs> well, fortunately, it was our lead singer's house. It was, I mean, picking the house was, okay, the house is here, yeah. but it was, obviously it was like, okay, we, we need the space. And his house was really spacious. The The basement was just like, no one was there. He he has a couple kids, but fortunately, you know, up top, they, they were able to just be up there. And so we just planted ourselves down in the basement for a couple months and uh, got a producer in there and... It sounds really, really good. Sweet. We're excited. So you write this song that's going to open Countdown to kick off, and we've heard it. It's it's fantastic. Like it? nice. How does that... Momentum uh, is the name of it. It's a good name. How does that, that yeah. thought yeah. process even begin? They say, hey, write us a song, and you're like, okay. See, I just I have so much respect for musicians and that they can, they can create something yeah, yeah, original. Yeah. And I hear it, and I'm like, that's perfect. How does that begin? Well, it, you know, it begins... I didn't write the song personally, and so, obviously, we came together as a band and, and fleshed out some ideas. Um, our guitar player wrote it. And I think the process is, you know, let's, let's think about what kind of project this is, what kind of feeling we want this song to to have. And and obviously, knowing that we were going to play it in the stadium, it was like, we're going to make this a rocking song. Yeah. Like, we're going to make this a big song. And so, I think... That was a big part of it, knowing that it was going to be for BYU football. Um, we wanted to make it a fictionist song, but also like really appropriate for BYU football, so that when people hear, you know, this song, they're pumped about BYU football, and they're like, "Oh, I'm in the mood to watch <laughs> BYU <laughs> football." Which, which is, I, I happen to produce the pregame show that this will be on, and so yeah, the feeling that I'm excited that will happen in this is. Yeah, let's let's exactly. play the game, and then exactly. we go. Well, wait, we got an hour. We got to show you yeah, a pregame yeah. show. But, yeah, it's gonna go to there. Let's sample that song. We have uh, ten or fifteen nice. seconds of that song. Let's do it. Awesome! I love it. Momentum. You I, now, now tell me about this. I just learned before we started this interview, there are three BYU grads and two Utah grads. Yeah. How did the Utah grads come together to make sure they made this song awesome? <laughs> well, a little secret. The Utah grad actually wrote this song. Oh. There you go. Oh, a Utah grad a wrote this song. Ute. Maybe Maybe we shouldn't publicize that as much. <laughs> Let's say that the BYU grads yeah. wrote it. Does it change like where it's like, hey, we like you know, you, you're a, we've learned you're a big BYU football yeah, yeah, fan. Where yeah. it's like, hey, we got to make this awesome. You know, well, it's BYU funny football. because I think it also helped that the other, the rest of the band, aren't big sport fans in general. I mean, they'll watch sports here and there, but I'm definitely the sports fan. You're the guy. And so uh, I think that them kind of being distanced from like, oh, I'm not a U fan, I'm not a BYU fan. It's that like helps. I'm just gonna write a song. Yeah. She's going to write a song that's going to pump people up. So that probably awesome. helped it. Yeah. When did you become a diehard BYU football fan? Was there a Ooh. moment? Well, I mean, 
I grew up in a house where my dad, uh, he was a big Cougars fan. He's a huge Cougars fan. And so I grew up in Sacramento, just outside of Sacramento, California. And it was the times of, you know, not a lot of people had satellite in their homes. Yeah. And so we had to go to the Steak Center. Oh, that, to watch that the game. Wow. I thought it was and he's that nice. hardcore. Yeah, yeah. And so he would go, and there was maybe two other people from the stake <laughs> that were watching the games. Good resource use. And we watched just, you know, a really small TV. And and so I, I'm a pretty big Cougars fan. Yeah, that's so devotion, I, yeah, my yeah, friend. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when did you go to BYU? So I went to BYU. I graduated 2008. Okay. So I went 04 to 08. Yeah. So you, the, the very beginning was the apostasy of BYU football, and then you caught yeah, the restoration. Yeah, and then I caught the rest of it. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. yeah, was good. <laughs> Jacob Jones of Fictionist, the man on keys, joining us on BYU Sports Nation right now. It kind of seems that there's this cool tie with musicians and, and athletes. And you ask a lot of athletes, like, well, if you, if you weren't a professional athlete, what would you want to be? And they always say, rock star. <laughs> and you maybe ask rock stars, well, what do you want to be? I want to be a professional athlete. What's the tie between music and, and great athletes? I don't know. I, I I think there's also a tie with like actors. Yes, exactly. You know, there's exactly. like Keanu there's Reeves. A yeah, it wasn't and, a band. And Point Break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's and so I think <laughs> Johnny there's, Utah. There's always this. Oh, I want to be a musician. I want to be a rock star mentality of like being able to be on the big stage. And so for me, yeah, I've I, I mean, I played basketball when I was when I was in high school. I, I wasn't much of an athlete, but I definitely like. There's a part of me that wishes that I. You know, as a football player or basketball player. So it's always the grass is always greener kind of, yeah, sure. you know, kind of thing. So I, I think people seeing the rock stars is, is – so they get a little jealous. I'm glad that so. we brought up Keanu Reeves. I just keep thinking, <laughs> we've gone too far. We know too much. Little tortilla boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. awesome. Um, when you're on the road, you're about to go on the road with Neon mm-hmm. Trees. That's yeah, very cool. Yeah. Uh, another band that kind of came out of Provo and Valor and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you make sure that you can catch BYU football games or catch up on that kind of stuff when you're traveling? Well, fortunately, games are on ESPN now. Yes. So watch ESPN app. ESPN awesome. is awesome. And then uh, what games are on BYU TV this, this uh, year? Savannah State, the compelling and The compelling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, we're going to make sure that game's on TV. <laughs> but it's senior night. Well, what you really... But the app, what, the what BYU you're... TV app. Oh, look, at, watch look, at, this, look at this uh, so, plug. Awesome. Yeah. And the pregame show, of course, that Momentum will be <laughs> yeah, yeah, about. yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I go online. I Just overall, I'm a huge college football fan. I, I just love watching all the games. I was watching the games over the weekend. Um, so I, I make sure. And it's nice because, you know, just in the van, I sit in the back. I'm always in the back. And I can just watch, you know, whatever games I are on on saturday or for or if we have some downtime so that's yeah, it's nice to have those apps are now. you a lone man in that venture I, uh there's another brandon is always next to me and you know the band will joke about it because i always am in the back corner i'm just <laughs> one of those <laughs> like... closet college football <laughs> <Exactly>. band <laughs> that's funny jacob jones of fiction is joining us on byu sports nation uh, tell us about the upcoming tour. Where are you going? How long is it going to last? All those details. Yeah, so we're going to start the tour off without Neon Trees. We're going to start in New York City at a music festival called um, CMJ. And then we're going to start the tour with Neon Trees in San Antonio. And then we go. We do three dates in Tennessee. We do some dates in North Carolina. Uh, we do a date in, North, uh, I think, Jacksonville, Florida. Nice. And then we finish off in Indiana, the hometown of Purdue. Awesome. So, That's Lafayette. Fair. Lafayette. What, what's what's yeah. the weirdest place uh, oh. you've performed in? <laughs> you knew that there question There have been was so many that I don't know. I mean, the weirdest place, uh, the, the weirdest place definitely is uh, Texarkana. 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 So don't, Tex- don't dance, duh. Texas, Louisiana. Arkansas, it's on the corner of <laughs> all those states. Is this a city? It's a city called Texarkana. Texarkana, and what I'm pretty sure we were in the Texas on the Texas side, and we played at a homeless shelter. It, it was actually a really really cool venue. Like this guy, you know, he brings in the homeless to yeah you know, to to help them out and and to give them entertainment. But I must say, it was the weirdest show that I've ever played in my life. And it was definitely 
the weirdest place that I've ever been. It had a distinct smell that wasn't yeah. very nice, right. wasn't very pleasing, and just like I, it was kind of a ghost town. Hmm. It was kind of, it was really weird. So if you survive something like that, where you're like, okay, you know what, we can handle any crowd, oh, yeah. any setting, any anything. Yeah, you <laughs> get to you get to a point as a band, and I'm and I'm positive any band, the Beatles had that, any band had that where it's like we can we can experience anything. Okay, we're we're celebrating the. One year anniversary of BYU Sports Nation, and, and why not do it to be on the rock star? Now? Oh, so nice. we're we're going to share some yeah. cake with you, Jacob. Ooh. Also, we'd like you to add your name to the flag that Bronco Mendenhall himself has signed. Wow! Our BYU Sports Nation rise I think up. Steve flag. Young has signed the flag too. So there Steve you go. Steve Young, Kate Hansen, Olympian. Wow, awesome. that's amazing. So, Meanwhile, I will cut you a piece of cake, not the one with me shaving. Oh, I... Jerem is spilling it on the desk. Yeah, it's going to be okay, everybody. Uh, I do want to ask you this before we end. Yeah. There's this awesomeness out of Provo recently with Imagine Dragons, Neon Trees, oh, Fictionist. Yeah. What in the world is going on in Provo with rock bands? What's happening is they're realizing that even though they're from a small town, they can make they can make it on a national level. Make big music. You know, it's 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 very much that that idea of like coming from a small town. It's like, can I really get out? And and Provo fortunately has Valor, which is a great club, and and the owner is probably the best promoter I've ever dealt with, you know, anywhere. And so he's put on he puts on amazing shows, and he really helps bands uh, develop artistically and just be able to like develop a fan base. And so you know, I think Neon Trees was kind of like they they set the bar in many ways. Like it was, we're gonna get out. We're, we're going to get out of Provo. Not that Provo is a bad thing, but we're going to get out and, you know, go on a national level. And then They're both Magic Dragons yeah. and then Killing Joshua it. James. I mean, yeah. all these bands that are coming out and they're internationally known. And so it's it's very much it, it, it kind of it's like when someone breaks a record, all the other people start breaking those records. And, you know, and, and the getting, new bar. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so they set a bar, which uh, fortunately is is pretty high. Yeah, that's awesome. Jacob Jones on keys for Fictionist, rock star on the set to help us celebrate our one-year anniversary. Congratulations on all of your success. We look forward to seeing you tonight at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. If you're in the area, come be a part of the Fictionist music video. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you so much for having me. Up